Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Aries 88. My name is Tanya. All right, I'm gonna try to do a fast reading today before I go to church. Hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time you tuned in or press that play button. I believe that spirit was motivating you to do so. And I thank you for your likes, your subscribes, and your shares. Like on the way in, it gives me an energetic donation to my channel and it helps me tune into your energy. All right, these are collective readings, any energy, any sign. Energy does not have a gender, so please excuse and forgive if I say he or she. 3D terms, my friends. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Flip the rules as you see fit. I could be saying you, I mean your person, meaning saying your person, meaning you. And if the shoe don't fit, acquit, baby. Might just, might just not be your reading. All right. Past, present, or future energy is at play. Let's call in spirit on this beautiful day a sunday let's get this party started shall we spirit guides and angels of your whitest lights please give me a clear message for the collective one that brings healing understanding and hope for their situation please protect me as i open myself up to channel these messages and please protect my beautiful collective thank you spirit for all of your guidance your love and your healing amen all right let's start it let's see what goes on here So, what do we have, Spirit, for the overall energy of this reading? The overall energy of this reading, Spirit. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. God, here. I got three that came out. And we're going to go with it. And that is honesty, acceptance, and fear. These three. Fear is, I realize I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So they want to love somebody, but they're afraid. Acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. Amen. Sounds biblical to me. Accepting what you cannot change. Including the fear of something, even though you're afraid of something, this person still wants to move in that forward direction anyways, despite the fear. Honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it for myself. And this is another thing that people are afraid of. This is the thing that this person's afraid of, whether it's you or your person. They're afraid you won't accept them if you are on, if they're honest with you. This is what I'm getting. So let's see if the tarot is going to reflect this. But let's start with maybe possible astrological signs or guidance from the universe as far as this situation. This energy that I'm channeling of fear, acceptance. And honesty okay because you have to be honest with yourself and I think this is maybe a truth that this person hasn't realized if they are going to be honest with anybody they should start being honest with themselves except that their flaws except themselves we can look at ourselves in the mirror and say oh you know and not be honest with themselves and go on in life and that spills out into other connections with other people we don't want to, we hold our truth to ourselves and we're not honest, but really it starts with ourselves, this honesty and dishonesty too. Okay. It could be a Gemini, right? That we're talking about here today. And the bottom of the deck is moon perception, maybe our own perception or maybe what other people think of us. We are hiding our own truth or our own true authentic self. And people are perceiving us in a different way that's not truly accurate. Tenth house, authority. Maybe this person is in a place of authority. And they have to put on a certain persona. Venus, beloved. Somebody they love, though. They're not being honest with. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm hearing. Let's get into the tarot. Let's see what happens here. Spirit, give me some more information on this honesty. This uh, person and them being honest or looking for acceptance from a person that they haven't been honest with in the past. The moon is here and the moon is also illusions. The moon can be sometimes not somebody's truth. Here comes Coco. We all know Coco. Say hi, Coco. Coco, Coco, lay down, down. Yeah, they don't. Hi, Coco. Yeah, my girl. I love you so much, my girl. Oh, so cute. You love it when I do terror, don't you, my girl? Yes, this Coco's. Everybody loves to see Coco. Lay down, Coco. Yes. He's such a good girl. 
No itchies today. No itchies, my girl. Could it be a good girl today? Yes, it's Sunday, my baby. <laughs> so she, she. Isn't she a cute girl? Oh, never mind, my girl. <laughs> Cocos, you're messing the cards up. Lay down, Bubba. Come on, lay down. Down. Hi. <laughs> Cocos. Thank you. Okay, go lay down, Cocos. All right, let's see what we got here. Coco, you want to learn about the truth? You want to learn the truth? Yes. <laughs> All right, Spirit, give me some information here on this situation, please. Give me some information on this honesty and this truth, please. Thank you. All right, High Priestess, gang, gang, baby. Somebody maybe views you as the High Priestess. Maybe you are a High Priestess and you taught this person the truth. Maybe you knew the truth all along. They see you as abundant and spiritual. Maybe this is the person that they were afraid to be truthful to, but you already know. And they know now you know, and that's putting a lot of fear in them that you know their truth, that you're going to discover their truth. Thank you, Spirit. Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini was here as well. Somebody was careless and maybe defensive towards you. Maybe they thought if you got close to them that you would learn their truth, and they didn't want that. They didn't want that. Thank you, Spirit. Knight of Swords, though. They want to be fearless, but maybe they see competition here. Maybe they put you in competition. Maybe they feel like they now they have to compete with other people for you. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Hang on. Thank you, Spirit. Two of Swords in reverse. They made bad choices. They misrepresented themselves. This is what I'm saying, this false mask. Yeah. you. They weren't honest with you. They weren't honest with you. They... And also Gemini here is cross-pollinating. So yeah, the competition. They put you in competition with other people. They were putting their sexual energy out, cross-pollinating with other people. Maybe you didn't know that. Yeah, and they feel like you wouldn't accept them if you learned the truth. That's what they're afraid of. They're afraid to tell you their truth or what they were doing. I want it on the... Oh, what the heck is this? Yeah, they were weak. And they surrender to their sexual desires. That's uh, Seven of Wands. And that's uh, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. They compromise themselves with other people. Cross-pollinating, in a sense. Going towards this one, that one, any other one. Maybe you didn't know you were in competition with other people. Maybe you didn't know that there was other choices and other options that they, this person had. And they're afraid to tell you this. Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, and they don't have courage. They were unreliable, they, but... Yeah, they focused on work. Maybe they are a um, workaholic. And they weren't really focused on you. That's what I'm getting. So I give me some more confirmation. Oh my gosh, this thing, the whole deck wants to come out. Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, too much responsibility. They feel overburdened. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They were ungrounded. Just loyal to you, non-committal. Yeah. Maybe you didn't know that they had these other people that they were doing the most. You believed in them. But they didn't believe in this connection. They didn't show you that side of themselves. I'm I'm hearing that Clearly, you didn't know who they truly were. You didn't know their true authentic self, that they had these really strong sexual desires and they were pushing them in different arenas. They had other options and they were going towards those other options. They weren't honest with you about their truth. Maybe they acted like they were gonna commit to you. Maybe you were in a commitment with this person. But they weren't truthful. They weren't honest with you. They were just loyal to you and careless. Yeah, and it just really showed you, the, the, you know, that they didn't give a damn about you. That's how you the situation ended with you feeling that way about them. And it's not that they didn't care about you, but they were in a dark place, a dark energy. And they went with that dark energy. And it, went, and it really cost them their own self-respect, to be honest with you. Yeah. Right here, competition again. 
seven of wands. Yeah. Seven, double confirmation. They put you in competition. The empress here, a respectable leader, as it says here, authority, a person in authority. Discipline, though. But also ego-driven and controlling. Page of Wands in the reverse, yeah. It's caused a lot of delays. There was poor communication and instability between the two of you. They made a quick decision and it cost them you. A sudden action towards another person or other people and you walked away from them. Queen of Wands in reverse, somebody that is jealous and insecure and narrow-minded and selfish. This is the person that they turn towards. It's Queen of Wands in reverse, yeah. We have here also the Ten of uh, Wands. The struggle, burdens, overstressed, trying to do it all, but failing. This is what I'm seeing here. Spirit, give me some more information on this competition, on what was going on here. This Queen of Wands is what happened with this person. Why they went in this direction, Spirit. I mean, I think it's just really... It's the sexual energy. It's the devil energy. It was like... They were too much in their pride and ego. They had a lot of people, a lot of choices. And they felt pretty good about themselves. So they didn't want to settle down because, you know, they're young, you know? I'm getting they were young at that point. I don't know how long the time has gone by between the two of you in the separation, but... Yeah, they want to come towards you, though. If they are in a connection with somebody else, the physical location they're moving or you are physically moving, they feel weighed down with the anxiety. And also the chains weigh down in this situation. Why are they weighed down, spirit? Why do they feel weighed down? They're definitely anxious and nervous about coming towards you, though. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, denial. They lived in denial that anything was wrong and they didn't want to face the truth of what they were doing. The spirit has been working with your person and really prodding this person to look in the mirror and see their true, be their true authentic self and stop this nonsense that's going on. Yep, silence, non-action. They're not coming towards you. They're not talking to you. And there's a lot of triggers in this connection. You triggered them and they're looking for you everywhere and your name in the wind triggers them. You know their wish fulfillment though. They're hoping and praying for another shot because they love you. And that was their truth that they didn't tell you either. They want to pop up in your life. They want to show up. Talk to you because they're fully focused on you. Whatever you're doing, they're watching you. Yeah, there's a pause in this connection. Double confirmation of that, Jeepers. You're insatiable to this person. You're magnetic to this person. <laughs> Dear God. Can you see where this is going? Mm. But they feel locked down. In a mental prison of their own making legal situation they could be in a legal situation something bad could have happened or in the court systems something they could have done that was wrong you know what i mean something that's being looked at by a judge i'm hearing but they want to come together possibly a divorce possibly children that type of thing the possibilities are endless they want to prove to you how they feel about you though any other oh my goodness spirit oh pressure cooker they feel like they're ready to explode they're crushed that you're not in their life, but the nightlife, the party, and the sexcapades, it all contributed to the separation between the two of you, but you're their happiness. You are their happiness, my friend, and they want to come towards you in a big way. They want to show up because they realize the truth of the matter is they have to be honest with you in order to move forward with this connection if they want it, and they do want it. They do want it badly, but they feel at a stalemate they feel like what am i going to do i'm going to have to really show up and be honest with this person and it's keeping them in the grip of anxiety that's what i'm hearing but you continue to move forward and that's the thing you're moving forward good for you the big picture they're looking at it the big picture here and there's angelic help like i said spirit is working on this person spirit is prodding this person to see you for who you truly are yeah, and they want to compensate you. They want to show up, like I said, in a big way. Possibly gift you with something. Be there for you. Be what you want them to be. Where in the past, they didn't show you who they truly were. You didn't know. That's what I'm getting. You didn't know. 
and they're afraid to come towards you because they feel like you'll reject them if you know the tr their true self and what they were doing that's the thing they got to be honest about what was the point why did they ghost you why did they walk away from you why did they just not tell you what was happening you know why couldn't they have been honest They didn't know how. My backyard. Home is where I make it. I can find sanctuary every day. Yep. And that's what they want. They want that home life. You, they feel like you are their sanctuary. Wherever you are is their home. That's what I'm getting here. Let me see. I can be independent and successful. I can be alone and not lonely. Being different can be a source of power. There is magic in the world and I can perceive it. And that's you when you walked away. You cared enough about yourself to walk away and say, I can make my blessings a reality wherever I go. That's where I'm going. I need to be. You loved yourself enough to say, I'm not going to accept this and I'm going to move forward. And that's what you did. You move forward. And you're moving forward to your blessings. That's what Spirit's saying. Regardless of whether it's with this person or with somebody else or even alone to just heal. Spirit saying there's blessings in all of that. And if that's what you want is this person, there are opportunities down the road that's going to happen where it's going to open up when this person awakens and recognizes you for what you are. They're learning who you are. They're learning what this connection means and what you were to them and who you are as a person. I don't think they trusted connections. I don't think they believed in people. I think that they saw connections as for what they were a sexual in nature temporary right equal give and take as far as pleasure but not permanency or if there is permanency it's because this person wants something from me i think that's what the problem is with your person is they they're always seeing like the negative in connections like there's always somebody that wants something from me and you were just giving and they just didn't see that as an attribute they saw it as what is this person going to show their hand or what are they going to what do they want from me they didn't know what you wanted from them and now they're realizing that you just wanted them and you didn't want anything that they had to offer as far as money or you know status or anything like that the law of attraction relationship and activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies yeah the law of attraction you're learning about it and so is your person that to give out your sexual energy to people or even your energy in general is draining and some people just take it for their own their energy vampires this person's learning that as well as yourself to cross pollinate with other people is to give them your power uh, let's see the healing energy angel is with you the healing energy of the archangel Raphael is with you supporting your healing work and that's for you as well as your person when they are ready to heal it's going to change this person's life as it is changing yours as you are being awoke as you are being that high priestess that you were always meant to be you are the law of attraction you are attracting your tribe you are attracting blessings you are attracting good karma and your person is seeing that from a distance in that lockdown mental prison that they're going through that they're in they're going to come out of that as well hopefully to go on to their blessings hopefully to go on to their abundance as well but right now they're at a, it's in a standstill it's a stalemate right now it's really their decision we all have free will at play but you are moving forward and that's what you need to continue to do that's all i have for you today if you liked this uh, video please like and subscribe and join my tribe i'd love to have you until next time be safe out there my friends be blessed.